Hi everybody, welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. This is our last trip for 2019. It's the 30th of November. There are a few campsites open all year round. Um, we're just leaving Kilfinnan in County Limerick, which if you saw the last video, that was in airs. Charlie's all cuddled up there. We've got about a two hour drive ahead of us. It's not the best of days, but look, we're heading to Bantry. It's another air. It's been covered in loads of videos, but not by Charlie and me on Charlie and me, our camping vlog. We've spoken about it on the Camping Crew podcasts. It's run by the County Council. I believe it's right on the riverfront and there's electric hookup. There's a charge. I believe there's fresh water, grey water, the whole lot. We've got, according to the sat-nav, about a two hour drive ahead of us. We've got to go from Limerick into Cork and then from Cork right down into Bantry from Cork City. So about a two hour drive, a little bit of road footage and as per usual, I'll put where you can jump ahead of the road footage and if you go to there on your clock at the end of the video, that's where we arrive in Bantry. So stick with us as we make our way on our last trip of 2019 for camping this year on Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Look at your man, hasn't he got the life of Riley? You comfortable? We make a move? Okay, let's go. So we've made it to Bantry. Uh, it took two hours. I remember Deirdre used to work in Bantry years ago. And when I told her that we were heading from Limerick to Bantry via Cork, she said, um, you're going to hate the drive. I hated that drive. Most of it, not all of it, but most of it. Uh, I'm going to show you where we are now. Basically, it's, um, I'll walk up to the, it's in Ayers. It's a car park where just behind us, you can see car parking spaces there for the people who work out on the oil rigs. And then there's possibly 10 spaces with electricity and fresh water. There's actually another motor home just there beside us. Uh, this is how close we are to the water. So hang on, I just want to keep him away. I'll just turn the camera and we'll go up to the gate and up to where the toilets are. And I'll walk you back in and I'll show you the pay station. So here's where we are, Bantry Marina. It's beautiful, it really, really is. This is a nice airs. There's a super value across the road. There is, come on Charlie, a garage right there, a Max Hall garage. So the power points, there's four, I think there's six power points, points on each pole. The, sp the spaces aren't very big, like they're no longer than I was expecting them to be a bit like Cove and be longer. No fishing, no swimming, no diving. 
and one very very excited dog i'm gonna just there's, there's a bit of wind but i don't know if you can hear the sound i love the sound of the masts and the ropes and the boats I'd say that boat there now is a few bob. I'd even say that boat there is a few bob. It's very, very windy. I have the wind sock on. Now. They're just charges for the uh, harbor. But I'll bring you to the entrance. As I say, now I've seen a few videos on this place, but Charlie and me have never been, and seeing that Deirdre's away, we wanted to get one or two more videos in. Bantry Harbour Marina, and Charlie will mark that for them. There's a good few boats here. This is where you come in and you push to get a ticket. I just want to see what this sign is here. It's a tourist information. All about the mussels and Wild Atlantic Way and Fall to Ireland. So, here's where we came in. We pushed the button, got our ticket, made our way in and just parked down there. And then I came uh, the way out. There are a few bays there, but as I say, it says here reserved for Zenit Energy, Bantry Bay Terminal. Uh, there are toilets here which are key coded just there uh, gents and the ladies this is the chemical waste disposal for your toilet in there and there's a, a flusher and a hose I think that's for rubbish I'm not too sure that's a workshop because I actually met the chap that's working in there and here's the pay station now the pay station on one side Oh, there's a couple of bins here. The pay station on one side, there's boat payments, card only, but yet down here it says that there's debit card. So I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll just pay tomorrow. Um, as I say, there's a bin there. That garage is there. I don't know where you get the code for the toilets. Come on, Charlie. Um, but there is a chap here, and I asked him where do you get the code for the toilets, and he didn't know. And then, um, by making a few phone calls to friends of his, I got a code for the toilet. So I don't know if these toilets are part of the marina, or the airs. The sign does say out on the road that there are toilets. But as I say, I don't know where you get the code. And again, excuse me if it's very windy. I do have the wind sock on the microphone. But uh, I'm just going to make our way back to the camper. Charlie got groomed during the week, so he's all uh, fresh and trimmed. But that's handy now, having a petrol station. I'll take a walk over there now and see uh, if they do hot food. They do teas and coffees, but I'm not a tea or coffee person. And then there's another van just parked here beside us. Right, Charlie. <laughs> Isn't that freaky? <laughs> Hang on till I turn on this light and turn off that one. Okay, so Bantry Harbour airs. I think I stand corrected on this one because I won't know until I put my card in tomorrow, but I think it's 10 euro a night all in. There is the chemical toilet that you saw. There is fresh water. Just where we're parked here, there's a shore in the ground marked where you can dump your grey water. Um, it's five o'clock in the evening now when we're doing a wrap up and the super value across the road, the lights are on, it's lovely. A couple of boats have come in, small fishing boats have come in and out. It's probably less than an hour of a drive from Cork City, maybe a little bit more. I know I came across the mountains, but I'll be going home via Bandon uh, tomorrow when we're heading home, won't we, Charlie? I think that's about it. Guys, 
This is the last camping that we're doing for the winter, for the season, for 2019. We'll try our best to bring a few videos over December and January. I'd say we won't get back out camping till maybe February. Officially in Ireland, Paddy's weekend, which is March 17th, is the start of it. But uh, we're not going to be able to stay out of the camper that long. There's no way we're going to stay away from you guys that long. Can I just say thank you? We have over 800 subscribers to our channel in the first year. Thank you very much if you're one of those subscribers. If you're just a viewer and you haven't subscribed, that's okay as well. Uh, I think we still have a few car stickers left. If you want to give me, email me your name and address to Charlie's email here. We'll post you out some of our car stickers from the camping crew and from Charlie and me. That wraps it up from Bantry. I think that wraps it up for 2019 please if you are camping over the winter stay safe and stay warm wherever you're looking at this video in the world and you're a camper or even if you're not a camper stay safe it's the 30th of november so i'm going to say happy christmas although we will do uh wish you a happy christmas video in uh in a couple of days it's probably been posted already because as i say today is the 30th of november Thank you for watching Charlie and Mayor Camping Vlog. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. But if you don't want to, that's okay as well. And the Camping Crew podcasts as well are available on most podcast platforms. Hey, mister, you're going to say goodbye to everybody. Look, you're going to say goodbye over here to the camera. No. Mm -hmm. From Charlie and me, stay safe. We talked again very, very soon on Charlie and Mayor Camping Vlog. Bye-bye. Hey, gorgeous. Mm. So, Bantry Harbour Marina has Wi-Fi, by the way, has electricity, fresh water, grey water, the whole lot. Here's how we slept. Oh, we're at the uh, Whitty Island ferry terminal as well, because the islands are over there behind us. In fact, I'll give you a look while I tell you how we slept last night. Um, the petrol station across the road stays open, possibly till midnight or later, so their air compressor keeps generating air and dispersing air, a big every 25, 30 minutes. Um, the road traffic noise, this is the main bantry to Skibbereen, one of the main roads to Cork, so traffic noise was fairly loud until possibly two in the morning. But that garage compressor kept going till two or three in the morning. But apart from that, this is a beautiful place and I wish more towns and villages start giving us facilities. You don't have to have a harbour, you just have to have a car park. Um, there's five spots but there's about ten power points. And it's just brilliant. It's just really, 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 really well worth it. And it's a great stopover. Ten minute stroll, five minute walk downtown. Bars, restaurants, shops, novelty shops, gift shops. And this view at half eight in the morning. It's just beautiful. Talk to you again.